In this video, I want to make sure that you um, are aware of tracks. So in this case, we have basically these four different audio channels, and we have an extra video channel. And the way that we do that is we right-click here in the timeline, and we hit a new audio track, or Command-U. We get Command-U twice and create two new audio tracks so we can choose those 5-1 or 7-1 options and we can also do that with a video track and create a track. Now that we have tracks in there if we want to write video and put video on this top track then we need to move and patch from video 1 to video 2. So the way the audio works is we patch odds to odds and evens to evens. So in this case, we're going to take audio 2 and go to 4, and we're going to take audio 1 and go to audio 3. And then when we write video, we're going to go to the right place. So let's test this out. Let's create an endpoint. How come? Do you like Mabel? And an out point. And we will hit the overwrite key B. And let's scroll down and we'll see that the audio is added and the video is added. And if we play that. Daily fight was a little off oh, um, Do you like Mabel? If you didn't want to see that clip, you could turn it off and you could actually play it without Daily it. Daily fight was a little off oh, um, Do you like nothing Mabel? nothing there because you have no video on. So we could repatch here. Play. Daily fight was a little off oh, um, Do you like Mabel? So that's how our video and audio tracks work. If we want to look at our audio waveforms, we can turn those on. And we can also go in and solo or mute. And we can add different properties from clip clean to volume to pan. So to do that, we go in and we would click on what we want and then we would see this show up and we could go and make that adjustment. So that's how we use audio and video tracks.